So in these post-corona times, we're obviously seeing a lot of problematic news from the economy. Unfortunately, that also means a lot of bankruptcies. And many times when you read about these bankruptcies, they talk about things happening such as changed consumer behaviors, digitalization, and these days, of course, also Corona. And I find all of these reasons very legitimate, but sometimes I take a closer look at what actually happened to the company and how they behaved before. And sometimes I realize that, yes, these factors absolutely played a role, but there's also maybe strategic marketing or digital performance marketing mistakes that they made in the past. And one such example has been quite recent. Uh, last month in Graz, one city that I visit quite regularly, uh, a famous bakery, the bakery Hubert Auer, announced that they are filing for bankruptcy. Now, Hubert Auer is a, a bakery that has a lot of branches. They're visible at all the major squares. They're visible at the train stations. So they have a high penetration in terms of physical locations. But nevertheless, in the end, according to them, due to Corona and due to shifting consumer trends, they were not able to stay afloat. I was curious about this, so I took a look at their digital channels and I realized that, of course, the outside factors might play a role, but I feel like that also there were significant digital marketing mistakes. And I want to look at some examples so that perhaps we can all learn from them. So first of all, let's take a look at their website on desktop. As you can see, it looks decently enough has a acceptable branding, doesn't seem too bad. But the first thing we notice if we scroll down is that on the bottom, their Google Maps has a significant error message. And if we check the same site on mobile, we see that scrolling through it already leads us to some really ugly user interface uh, behavior. And then even worse, in the end, let's think about what the intention is if a user visits the website of a bakery. In the end, they want to find out where is the nearest location that's currently open so I can get my bread as quickly as possible. And this is really hard to find on that site. So in regards to their website, there's already these significant issues. Then looking at their social media, their Instagram profile, they, it exists, but it only has one singular post that is from a few years ago. So that's one problem. They have not even tried to have a content marketing strategy there. And the same uh, is a problem on their Facebook. It was actually quite attractive un up until around 2018. They had a nice branding there, like a visual guideline of how their post looks. It seemed quite decent, but then they just stopped posting in 2018. And that's one problem. Another problem is that they have not been running any ads, as we can see. So in times like these Corona times in the past few months where so many interactions are happening digitally, that's a big problem. And this kind of their, con their lack of content strategy also is visible in the terms of their website, their blog only having free posts and all of them being very old as well. There's no possibility to pre-order online. So there's these significant issues. And why I'm listing these is not because I want to shame this company that went into bankruptcy, not at all, but rather because I think it's an interesting reminder that yes, Corona is threatening and in the end, yeah, consumer trends keep changing, but there's also things that you can or you cannot do as a company to keep up with them or not. And I think for a bakery, there is the possibility to have a more digital business model to offer, for example, Corona safe pre-ordering where people get their bread delivered to their home or maybe they can pick it up from the store already pre-packaged. So there would be the possibility to experiment with these kind of business models. And unfortunately, as far as I can see as an outsider without any knowledge, it seems like they have kind of neglected all of these chances. And I think that's a valuable reminder that companies, they might be as traditional and as established, they could still use the help of digitalization and digital marketing to actually push themselves on the next level. And I think that's important for them to do because otherwise they might really be threatened by bankruptcy. And I don't like this because I want to support local and regional companies rather than the big international players. So this is my uh, appeal to these medium-sized companies. Do the right thing and invest in your digital marketing before it's too late. I think that would help the entire economy. I hope this was an interesting insight. Let me know what your thoughts are and I hope to talk to you very soon.